hello everyone welcome back to our digital learning journey um today is episode 2 and in the last episode uh, we did a good job of course we created our first auditor service and that was pretty smart enough to get the one time password time based generator you know one time password and we tested over um postman and we were successfully able to get a token but we did something wrong as i said also like the security key we are basically exposed uh, we are exposing this security key uh, over the over the parameter section and also in the payload section under the response section we are getting the security key which is definitely not right we have to somehow hide it suppress it and in this episode we'll you know understand how we can do that now obviously uh, there are you know different uh, http methods or http verbs we call like uh, get a uh, post put patch etc and the method will be using this time will be the post operation not the not the gate call right so in the post operation uh, will be you know able to make this security and other information hidden right and we can still get the outcome as it is so let's see how to do that okay to start with what we'll do we'll go to the dpcxt class go to workbench and there uh, we have to look for one more method and that is responsible for our post operation and that is called the create entity method so you'll we'll just go to edit button and then select this particular row and click on this method called redefinition or redefine the method and then delete all the commented codes we don't need it yeah so this method uh, will be implemented in this episode to get the data from uh, for the post uh, operation so how to get the data and how to pass the data from postman so two things we have to understand right so let's understand the gate operation first and then we'll during testing from postman I'll talk about how to give the data over through a payload approach so the parameters that we'll be using is called io data provider okay so if i just double click on this yeah i want to save it so this is an interface which having method called read entry data so this is the method uh, we'll use it to get the data from the from the request payload so go back and put the value and then uh, what will happen this is the method right so it's a shift double click will give me the details and now I'll remove this and i want to cut enter thing put it back yeah so that way i have put this value back now this es data is actually uh, the data which will give me the information so i need kind of a structure uh, the structure will follow uh, the similar template uh, the way we will be passing the data from the postman right okay so it is it is interest of time let me paste it from my clipboard right so this is a structure i have just created and this is a variable called ls payload so this one i can use it over here to get the data back all right fine so is everything okay so let's activate it before we proceed further let's see how the data um, coming to this structure so put a breakpoint and now we'll go back to postman to test it so what we'll do we'll basically go to get otp and make a duplicate and we will make additional changes the otp generator all right and what it says so this is the data uh, if i just execute it this is the you know information i need to pass it somehow so first of all i'll change it back to post method and this information will pass it to a section called body okay as a payload i'll select the raw and i'll get an option called text from the drop down i'll select json and this is javascript object notation and there will be passing this information like that make sure this uh, payload is correct and there is one syntax error click on beautify so that way my payload is ready so this is the information i'll just pass it to the back end with a post operation and i'll be you know able to get the data but before that let remove this uh, details right uh sorry it will be said saving it so if i just execute hopefully it should work let's see no it doesn't it's complaining something called csrf token validation failed what is csrf it's a cross site request forgery 
is a kind of an additional validation so that this is my client and I'm just asking my server which is running in my machine, local machine, the SAP uh, uh, server where I'm passing this data and saying like, hey, can you please create this data or can you please delete this data? So I'm just to make sure that SAP or backend server is not getting an additional you know, parallel kind of a hacking request right to alter this data and uh, making something blunder in the server side. So just to make sure this is the right client, right request coming from, so they want additional information called token. All right, so how to get the token? Very simple, we'll go to the metadata now and uh, and we'll be adding one more header parameter called CSRF token and the value should be fetch, right? If I execute this one, then we'll get a token as a response. You see in the header section under header, uh, CSRF token will get a token value. So control A, copy this go out, go back to our request and in the header section similar way we'll put one more line x c s r f token ah uh, sorry and the value should be the same one right so if i execute hopefully it will not complain it is and it's going back to back end my sap now see that debugger hit and if I put an F6, what will happen? I must see some data. Awesome, you see, the data is back. So once I get the data, the journey is simple, right? We have to just call our service and I mean the backend class to get the token and pass it back as a, as a response. Let's do that. So let's uh, call our class, TOTP generator, get instance. So here we have the security and this is our OTP length. And finally, it's the validity or duration. So this one I don't need it. We'll be using our chain operator. All right, so that's our catch and that's all. So, but ideally we should not put it in the catch operation. It's a mistake I'm doing. I have to put it above. Just after receiving the payload, we'll be just calling this method. Sounds okay, I think. Um, but I think it should be that way. So let's take a variable and this information I have to just pass it back to our ear entity and we can just part the token and the token is this L token. So correct. Oh, it is fine. Uh, okay, so you have to change to just adjust the uh, type compatibility. Hopefully, things are fine. Yes, it is. So now activate it and let's uh, we don't need a debugger anymore. So let's just call it once again and you see the token all right that's fantastic so we are able to hide the sec security key we are not receiving on the payload as well as we're not we don't need to pass it from this uh, parameter it is going to pass through body which will not be exposed uh, to the internet all right so next episode uh, probably we can you know start building up our front end part uh, which is a totp generator so kind of a this will be building up and will be consuming this service and have hopefully that will be uh, interesting to you so stay tuned uh, for our next episode we'll see you in the uh, next video till then goodbye take care